Deep Water Man. Bert Dow is an old deep water man. Retired, of course, but retired or not, he still keeps two boats. One is a dory, so old and so leaky that it can no longer be launched. It's filled plumb to the gunnels with earth, and every summer Bert plants it with geraniums and Indian peas. The other boat is an old double-ender named Tidely Idly with a make and break engine. This boat leaks too, except when it's pulled up on shore for patching and painting, which is most of the time. The Tidely Idly is the pride and joy of Bert's life. He does paint jobs now and again for other people and brings home the leftover paint to use on the Tidely Idly. That pink plank, Bert says, is the color of Ginny Poor's pantry. And the green one is the color of the floor in Doc Walton's waiting room. Bert Dow has a sister named Leela who keeps house for him. Most impatient being on land or sea, says Bert. Hit the deck, Bert. Time to eat. has a giggling gull for a pet. Every morning, she roosts on the roof of Bert's shed and waits for him to toss her a popover. When Bert puts out to sea in the tidally idly, everybody in town knows it. An old deep water man like me always keeps a weather eye out. But he keeps two weather eyes out when he puts out to sea in a vessel as old and leaky as the Tidely Idly. It looked like a good day, so Bert took the Tidely Idly way out into the open sea to fish for cod. Then Bert felt a substantial sort of tug on the end of his line. Ahoy there, whale! Hold your horses! Giggle and go! Fly away down there and tell this whale that this vessel has a couple of tender places in her planking. He's about to stave us in and send the tidely idly in all hands straight to Davy Jones's locker. The bob of Bert's card hook was barely caught in the blubber of the whale's tail. Since it didn't hurt, the whale quieted down and allowed Bert to haul in his cod line so he could take out the hook. There now, only a little bit of a hole and I've got just the thing for that. There now, Captain Whale. I'll wager your rudder won't leak out any blubber or take aboard any water now. But Bert had forgotten to keep his weather eyes out. What with getting this poor whale out of the trouble he was in, Bert hadn't noticed that it was beginning to blow. He knew he'd never make it home, but he did make it up to the bow of the whale to have a face-to-face -face talk. It's blowing a gale of wind, whale. One good turn deserves another. Water's about to stall the engine. No doubt the tidely idly it tastes terrible, but couldn't you just sort of swallow us? Uh, temporarily, of course, so while this gale of wind blows itself out. Well, I naturally expected it to be dark inside the whale's tummy, but I didn't expect it to be as dark as this. Supposing this whale didn't hear every word I said out there in that gale of wind. What if he's absent-minded? 
he might not know or remember that we're supposed to be temporary guests. Giggle and go, we'll have to make sure we get ourselves unswallowed. Well, I naturally expected pink would be the color of this whale's tummy, but I wasn't prepared for pink identical with the pink in Ginny Poor's pantry. Giggle and go, we have to get busy. Leela's surely getting impatient over our not being home in time to eat. Then he systematically set about trying to give the whale an upset tummy. He began by pumping out the tidly idly to the very bottom of the bilge. In an old boat, that always produces a lot of interesting things, such as old crab claws and rusty fish hooks, all mixed in with a nice big helping of sediment. Bert started scooping up the sediment on the end of a piece of shingle and began flipping. The whale's tummy began to quiver like a hoss flicking off flies. Then Bert opened a leftover gallon of yellow deck paint. He was beginning to enjoy himself. Why, it was the first time he'd ever had a chance to really express his personality in paint. <laughs> Next, he spat it on a can of cup grease. The whale's tummy was all a quiver. Giggling go, wiggle your wings and tickle this whale's throat with a feather. Well, that is a whale of a lot of whale tails. You can hardly see the forest for the trees or the whales for the tails. There must be some reason why all this school of whales are waving their tails towards the tidally idly. All except one. Yup, that whale looks a bit under the weather, but it also looks contented. The whales were only impatient at my taking so long to understand them. Whales are really very patient when it comes to standing or swimming in line, waiting to have the tips of their tails decked out with a bandage. An old deep water man like Bert couldn't resist shouting, Flash and blow! Why, I never did see so many tons of contentment come from out of such a little old bandage box. Giggling gull, let's take this last bandage home to Leela. And we better take it right now, so as not to keep her waiting. And they made it home just in time for breakfast. <laughs>